introduce Interim Chief with the Tampa Police Department, Ruben Delgado. Good morning. Thanks for coming. Um, so we're here, obviously, to kick off our Gasparilla season. Uh, and as you see behind me, all the public safety partners that will be involved in this year's event. Uh, so, I mean, we expect uh, big crowds this year. Uh, I think everybody's excited to, to get back. And, and um, this year we'll have over four and a half miles of parade route for the kids' parade, over six miles of parade route for the main Gasparilla parade, and over 100 floats in each, each one of those parades. So um, we take pride in how big Gasparilla's grown and how the city's grown. We've done events. We've done big events uh, here in the city with Super Bowls and boat parades, of course. Uh, and, then, uh, and now Gasparilla continues to get uh, the size it is. So we're very happy with it. We take the public safety part very serious, as you see standing behind me. We don't do this by ourselves. Um, we have the ones standing behind me are our main partners, but we have there's tens and, and uh, countless agencies that step up and help us throughout these events. Uh, and you'll hear from some of them that are standing behind me as well on how we keep these events safe. Um, so I just want to talk about a couple things just tip wise and then I'll I'll bring up some others to speak. Uh, but I just want to remind everybody that, um, you know, if you want information about Gasparilla, if you need the most up to date update information maps, uh, text Gasparilla to 888777. That's where you can get the most of the information and it will update you if anything's change. Um, <clears throat> if you're coming to the event, plan ahead. Traffic's going to be bad. We have road closures set in place for certain reasons. Uh, so please plan ahead when you park somewhere. Take a picture of where you're parking, where you're at, the crossroads of where you're at, because uh, when you start to go back to your car, it may be a little darker. Uh, you may not recognize some of the landmarks. So if you have it on your phone of where you park, it'll make it a lot easier to get home safely after the event. Um, for kids' parades, if you're bringing your kids, uh, we suggest you take a picture of your children. Uh, that way, in the rare occasion that you momentarily get separated from them, uh, we have a picture. We have cops on the, on the land, on water, in the air that can quickly relocate you to your kid. As long as we have that picture, we can send it out to every agency that's working out in this event and get it back safely. Um, and then the last thing is if you hear something, if you see something, say something. Uh, we'll have plenty of officers around and, and plenty of fire medics. So if you have any concerns about anything that you see on the parade route, we need to know as uh, quickly as possible. So before I bring up all the other speakers, I want to introduce the one person who kind of makes all this happen. Uh, she's responsible for putting events on like this, and, and we're, we're happy to have her as our leader, and that is our great Mayor Jane Castor. Thanks, Chief. Um, Gasparilla is back. This is very, very exciting for us. As, as you all know, this is the signature event for the entire Tampa Bay area, and it's, it is an opportunity really for our community to come together to celebrate safely but also it, it puts us on the stage for others to see that uh, we really do get to live here in paradise. So we're excited to bring it back. Uh, we know the community is very excited as well, but this year obviously is different. With the pandemic, uh, we are still um, uh, you know, under the Omicron variant. And so we are asking everyone to ensure that they understand their level of personal responsibility. If individuals by this time, we've been almost two years with COVID. And so the science has proven that the best way to avoid contraction or transmission or to uh, not have the severe reaction to COVID-19 is to be vaccinated and to be boosted. And so we continue to encourage individuals to be vaccinated and to be boosted. And if you are immune compromised or you have other health issues, then we ask that you stay home and enjoy Gasparilla festivities on television. Uh, there's even uh, an event that started because of COVID of decorating houses as Gasparilla floats. So there are a lot of things that can be done without coming down to the parade route as well. And if you do come down to the parade route again, as the uh, chief said, we've got miles and miles, four and a half miles for the children's parade, six miles for the day parade for individuals to be able to spread out. And if you can't social distance, wear a mask. That is proven to be effective as well. So again, 
level of public uh, uh, personal responsibility for those individuals that want to come down and enjoy the festivities at Gasparilla. As the chief also said, the Tampa uh, Police Department, Tampa Fire Rescue, City of Tampa don't do this all by themselves. You see just a small representation of all of the individuals, the organizations, and the groups it takes to put this event on safely. And it really is an all-encompassing. It is land, sea, and air. And uh, very, very exciting for us, and we are glad that it is back. Uh, the one thing that I will state definitively is that this year we will not surrender the city of Tampa to those gnarly Gasparilla pirates. And that is a fact. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, at this time, I want to bring up uh, my partner in crime. She's uh, the one who keeps the city safe with uh, all of the paramedics and the fire rescue teams here in Tampa, and that's Chief Barbara Tripp. Well, good morning. And like the mayor and uh, chief says, um, it's that time again. We're time to come out, have some fun, and enjoy, but it's also time to be safe as well. As Chief Delgado stated, with the children parades as well as the uh, day parade, let's make sure we take care of the little ones. Um, they seem to get lost. That's one of the um, major concerns that um, the paramedics run into with lost kids. So it's a good idea also not only to take pictures, but, you know, put some identification in their pocket or whatever they have on in case if they do get lost, we can actually help identify where their parents are located. And as far as both parades, we want everyone to be safe. As the mayor state, if you're not feeling well, please don't come out. Um, expose um, anyone to whatever is going on as well as cause any other issues. We will have paramedics spread it out through, throughout the routes for the children parade as well as the day parade. We also will have uh, bike medics riding around to assist with any medical that may arise and we also have marine resources that's going to be out in the water as well. So we want everyone to come out, enjoy themselves, have a great time, but in the meantime we want everyone to be safe. Okay? All right. Thank you. Next, I want to bring up uh, one of our main partners in all the events that we do here in the city, uh, and that's the Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office, and representing the day is Major Darren Barlow. Thank you, Chief. Uh, on behalf of Sheriff Chad Cronister and, and all of us at the Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office, we are truly excited to once again partner with the City of Tampa and the Tampa Police Department for this year's Gasparilla. Uh, yesterday, the Sheriff Cronister released a PSA, and, and you've heard a lot of good tips this morning. And, and uh, going leading up to uh, both the Children's Parade and the Day Parade, Sheriff Cronister is going to be releasing um, through our social media a uh, what we what we're going to call a daily treasures with uh, with uh, Team HCSO. So uh, we encourage you if if you um, if you want to get some tips as you're leading up to the parade, just uh, check out our socials. It's uh, at HCSO Sheriff at all the all the major platforms, Facebook, Instagram, and uh, and uh, Twitter. So once again, we encourage everyone to have a uh, very safe and uh, happy uh, Gasparilla season. And thank you very much. Up next, I want to bring up um, our federal and state partners that um, we work with quite a bit on our regular basis, but especially when we have the, the special events that take place in the city. Uh, and first, I'll bring up the FBI Supervisor Mike McPherson, followed by the FDLE uh, ASAC John Vecchio. Mike. Good morning, everyone. So my name is Mike McPherson. I'm the agent in charge of the FBI Tampa office. At the FBI, our number one mission is to ensure public safety. So we stand here today with our partners in law enforcement to sh demonstrate our support for Gasparilla season. For the large upcoming events, we'll have our tactical teams out, we'll have our special agent bomb technicians, we'll have our intelligence units all working shoulder in shoulder with the law enforcement agencies you see here today. But really our most important partner is the public. So as we go into Gasparilla season, 
Uh, Chief Delgado mentioned the See Something, Say Something campaign, and I really can't emphasize that enough, is what we're looking for is really public vigilance. So if you see something, let law enforcement share the burden of what you have. Take that burden off you and, and let us resolve the issue so we can have a fantastic uh, season coming up. So we look forward to it. I thank you in advance for the engagement that you're going to have. And I'll turn it over to John Vecchio from the Florida Department of Law Enforcement. Thank you. Good morning. The Florida Department of Law Enforcement is committed to working with our law enforcement partners every day to protect the citizens and visitors who come to Tampa. But we cannot do this alone. All of us have an important role to play when it comes to safety. There are a few things that you can do to help us. One is remain vigilant and, and to report anything that looks suspicious. And two, as others have said, if you see something, say something, which you can do by calling tips to 1-855-FLA-SAFE or to 911. So help us keep the Florida community safe and enjoy the Gasparilla events. Thank you. Next, we're going to talk about uh, the mobility uh, aspect of Gasparilla and who the two individuals that can um, are in charge of keeping the streets safe, making sure the traffic gets to where they need to be, because uh, thousands of people are coming down to the city. Uh, and up next, I want to bring up the representative for City of Tampa Mobility and Hart to discuss road closures. Is there any of them here? None of them are here. All right. So if you go. <laughs> I'll refer back if you if you text back to Gas if you text Gasparilla to 888 777 that's where they're posting the most up-to-date information on maps, road closures, uh, and if you have any questions, you can always contact someone at the city to get that information. Um, another important part we want to bring up, is, and and this is a, a, a critical part leading up to the parades, um, is our messages that we do on educating the public on the um, wet zoning, where the lines lie. Uh, obviously, we have a zero tolerance on underage drinking at any of the parades. Uh, but, but, and to do that, um, for a long time, we've been partners with Pepin Distributing uh, on educating the public and, and going into the schools and making sure the kids are well aware of the rules for Gasparilla. Um, and with that, I'd like to bring up the interactive marketing manager, uh, Oyten, from Pepin Distributing. Good morning, everyone. My name is Oytun with uh, Pepin Distributing Company. As everyone else, we're excited for Gasparilla 2022. Um, this year, we, we partnered with TPD and the school district to put together a TikTok challenge for high school students, uh, where they uh, creatively showcase how to Gasparilla responsibly. Uh, our friends at TPD visited high schools in Tampa and uh, helped educate students about the do's and don'ts of Gasparilla. Um, we have partnered with TPD and school districts for over 13 years with our Responsibility Matters program. Uh, we believe that education uh, has really made a, a difference. It takes partnership to work together. Uh, we still um, feel like there's a lot of work to be done uh, to keep our um, place uh, to, to um, live safely and, and work safely. Uh, Pepin Distributing wishes everyone a happy Gasparilla, a responsible one. Don't forget to check out BudLightSeltzerCo.com for a special experience that uh, Pepin Distributing and Anheuser Bush has put together. Thank you. And then uh, another partner we want to bring up is is um, somebody who plays a big role in having gas brillas go off. I'll, other than the fact that they let the pirates run around the city trying to take over the city, uh, they do do a good job with us as partners, and that's Captain Pete Lackman from the Eumistic crew. On the 29th of this month, we will invade the city of Tampa, and the pirates will take the city of Tampa, the mayor and all of her cronies with their initials and their names and their fancy titles and super suits and police and horses on horseback to keep us back. They will not stop us. We're coming for the key. We're taking the key from you, Mayor Castor. Hey, welcome to Tampa. Call your friends in Cleveland and tell them how beautiful it is today, okay? <laughs> Hey, this is a great event. We're sorry we missed it last year, but we're back this year. We expect a better and bigger than average parade. 
We expect the invasion by boats to be tremendous and the day parade will be outstanding. The Children's Parade, this is the 75th anniversary of the Gasparilla Children's Parade. And more importantly, it is the 200th anniversary of the death of the pirate Jose Gasparilla. Why am I telling you this? Because this is the bead that you want to have. One time only, JG200, this is the bead you got to get this year. Don't go home without it. That's all the fun stuff, you know. I want to thank our friends uh, at the police department and uh, also at uh, Pepin. Several years ago, we had too much underage drinking. And so the, uh, you know, Responsibility Matters program came out. And so we go out to high schools and colleges and uh, educate these folks on what a day in Gasparilla means if you're underage or if you're just starting to drink, how to handle yourself. This has uh, resulted in uh, less arrest, less problems, and a whole lot less underage drinking. So I want to thank our partners for that. Thank you. Thank you. So anyway, everyone has been warned. Gasparilla is coming. Our ship will come in. We will come right here. And right over there is where we will take the key from the mayor on the 29th of this month. Everyone, prepare for invasion. Should have never asked him to come speak. <laughs> so. so before we wrap this up, I just want to thank, um, you know, obviously the Ye Mystic crew, the uh, Coast Guard does a big role out in the water with us. I want to thank them for the, all the work that they're going to be doing, not only for this parade, but all the parades they do and all the boat parades and, and everything else that we do in the water. Uh, Florida Fish and Wildlife, Hillsborough County Schools uh, is, plays a big role in helping us with that education uh, responsibility matters campaign. Uh, Cracker Jack Media and Event Fest. So uh, all of those reps are here. You can speak to them after this press conference is over. And then, of course, anybody that's standing behind me as well. So other than that, I think we're ready for questions and uh, for anybody in the, in the group, if you have them. Yeah, the, uh, well, we're pretty well versed in boat parades, so uh, those individuals, anybody coming to the parade, whether it's uh, by land, sea, or the possibility of air, just be prepared. You know, be prepared, have a plan, and then pack before you leave your house in the morning. This is what I used to always say to the officers, is pack an extra dose of patience on Gasparilla Day. And also for the boaters, please remember, not only are we trying to keep all of our, our attending um, individuals, community members, and those gnarly pirates safe along the route, we're also tr ensuring that we keep our bay safe. So please everybody remember the Bead Free Bay program. No throwing beads out on the water because everybody's aim's not so good, the catch not so good, and who pays for that but our sea life, and we want to keep our bay beautiful. No, I don't think that they'll be doing anything differently. Again, you know, everybody just a, a extra dose of patience. Um, be informed before you come. It makes it a lot easier if you know what the traffic patterns are, you know where you're going to park. So I would just encourage the public to be aware, have a plan so that it makes it so much easier on all the individuals uh, that are behind us. Clearly this year is a little different with the COVID-19 and we're just asking everyone to understand their level of personal responsibility with that. Right, that you just have to look at the particular maps and you can do that on Gasparilla uh, by putting Gasparilla in 888-777 and that will give you real-time updates. I encourage everyone to do that because you'll get real-time updates all the way 
to the beginning of the parade and through it as well with traffic patterns, any emergencies that may occur, all of that. But again, it comes down to the personal responsibility with the consumption of alcohol as well. Everybody's here to have fun. Uh, clearly, the beads are worth millions of dollars on parade day, and they become worthless a day after. So please understand that as well. But um, in moderation, patience, those types of things. We want everyone to have fun at the Gasparilla Parade with the exception of the Pirates. I hope not. I truly hope not. And the Omicron, you know, has hit us. It is going up quickly, and all indications are that it's going to come down just as quickly. Those who've been vaccinated and boosted are uh, protected against severe reactions, even, you know, if they contract it. And so personal responsibility at this point, personal responsibility in a mask. All right. Thank you, guys. Thank you.